This is my um non-Newtonian liquid. It's made from cornstarch and water. Mm -hmm. Pre-made it for this. So this is a demonstration. I have pictures on my. Now I'm pointing like it, like it's there. I have pictures on my um trifold that you can look at. All right. So this is interesting because right now it looks like a li liquid. All right, fluid of fluid. It flows and it moves. You know, but think about this. See. Alright, but the thing about this is the fact I try to still whirl it around, the less it moves. See? Alright. So, if you take my finger and push it, put it through here very slowly, it's going to go with no resistance. Very little resistance, if that. Very slowly. And no speed at all. When I pull my hand up, it's going to stick a little bit like that. See? As the core starts forming the polymer. Now, yeah, that's cool, right? All right. Now, when I try to hit it or tap it, the less I tap, the further it goes through. The more I tap, it's not gonna go through. You see? I can try to hit it all I want to, not going through. It's not happening. It's like, oh, so it's like when you try in New York, right? When you see a big crowd of people, if you walk through those crowd of people, you're going to get through them. If you don't and you try to run, you're going to hit people. It's the same thing for the starch. If I walk through, I'm not going to hit people and I'm going to get through. If I try to run through, which I am trying to run through now, or I try to run through that way, or try to run through that way, you see the cornstarch building up like that. It's the same concept for quicksand. Um, and ketchup, actually. Well, no, ketchup is the opposite. Ketchup will get thinner as you try to move through it. See that? Now, the difference between a regular liquid and a non-Newtonian liquid is the non-Newtonian liquid depends on pressure and temperature. If you heat it up, it'll still go a little bit faster, but it also pertain. It also needs pressure. So the less pressure and the more heat the faster you'll be able to move through it. With regular liquids, it's just temperature. Straight, strictly temperature, see? It's playing in now, because it's fun. You can even go across the top, and you won't really make any tracks, and if you do make a tracks, see? Just like that. Very cool, huh? Once more, one more time with the tap test right here. And when you do this project, you may need to, this says um, one fourth cup of cornstarch, and two tablespoons of water. The only thing you need to keep constant is the two tablespoons of water because if you don't, well, sometimes that cornstarch isn't enough. So you may need to add a little bit more cornstarch depending on how firm you want it because it's not supposed to splash. So basically, add cornstarch until you don't, until it stops splashing. Which I'm going to add in my lab report right now. So again, not going to go through, not going to go through, going through. With ease. Coming back up. Oh. If I go down and I come back up, try to come back up fast, guess what happens? Alright, let's get it on let's get it on the counter so you can see what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm gonna let go and try to come up. That was no trick, y'all. It seriously holds on to the bowl like that. See that? Alright, well. I'm gonna play with this some more. And uh, that's, that's basically it.